What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Magazine Magic, checking in. And, man, a lot of people have been asking about this AR pistol I got, man. A lot of people have been asking about an update on the bill, so I thought I'd make y'all a video talking about everything. I already did one a while back, and I was, like, got, like, 20,000 views. So, people was checking it out, but I updated some stuff, and, uh... I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna list all the parts I got on it because it was a cheap build. I ain't even ever have an AR pistol before. This is my first one. So it's a cheap build. I tried to go as cheap as possible to see how affordable I can make it because everybody can't afford an AR pistol. Everybody can't afford an AR, period. Everybody can't afford a gun. That's why I don't knock nobody's pistols or none of that. I don't knock nobody's, man. From Taurus to Glock to, man, I don't knock none of them, for real. Because, hey, long as y'all carrying and being safe, that's what it's all about. But check this out. We're going to talk about this AR right here. Y'all see it? It is empty. It is empty. Now, the max is loaded because I went to shoot it earlier. Because y'all know they dropped that brace law, so you know. I had to put that brace back on there. And we are gonna talk about this, man, cause people been asking and I seen some comments on it and whatnot, it was cheap and man, with all, all, that, all that bullshit y'all be talking about that I ain't tripping on. But first thing first, man. So I ordered the upper, all this came from PSA. Got it for a hell of a good price about maybe a couple months ago. Everything came from PSA. I uh, ordered the upper first, which that came to the house. And then I ordered the lower. You know, that had to go to the FFL. But it was cheaper for me to, you know, order it part by part like that because it was cheaper than me just buying the whole gun by itself. I think it's called the, uh, the, uh, and it's chambered in 556, by the way. I think it's called the, the Marauder or some shit like that, the Marauder. But uh, it was cheaper for me to order it part by part and just put it together for myself. But um, let me see, what are we gonna talk about first? What y'all wanna talk about first, man? Tell me and tell me what y'all think, what I need to do. And I got some uh, mags with me. The mags are loaded, but I will not chamber the AR, but they are loaded. I'm gonna show y'all what the mags look like in there and all that good stuff. We're gonna start off with the light first. And I'm believe, everything came from Amazon and everything worked flawless. I done oiled it down and I probably done shot, I know I done shot over 500, uh, uh, 500 rounds of 556 five, through this and I have never had no trouble yet with this. Had no trouble yet with this gun. And I would trust my life with this gun. No matter how much y'all talk down on PSA, I would trust my life with this AR pistol. No problems. So we're gonna talk about the light first. It came with a uh, pressure switch on it. whoop de bang y'all see it. It do all that. Pressure switch right here. Wrap that around to the light. Y'all see it, and I'ma and I'ma um, put that in the uh, video where I got that from. This actually came from Amazon. I think when I bought it, it was thirty nine ninety nine when I bought it off Amazon. And I think actually when I looked at it today to get the picture of it so I could post it for y'all, I think it's on sale for nineteen ninety nine today. Nineteen ninety nine. This sucker, pretty bright, pretty bright. So next we're gonna talk about this hand guard right here. And I'm gonna swap this out because. I don't even like that. I don't, I don't like that too much. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like that too much. I don't know, but I might swap that out. But this, I got this from Amazon. This was like, I want to say this was between 15 and 20 bucks. I'm gonna try to find this one because this one was no longer available on there. So I'm gonna try to find that. We got the uh, Sig Romeo MSR Green Dot. Got that from Amazon, sighted it in. Still ain't had no, look, got the flip outs right here. Flipped them out. Flipped them out, turn them up. 
whatever you want to do. It gets pretty bright. It get pretty bright. I don't know if y'all can see that or would not. But they get pretty bright. You flip those up, turn them down, close them. A lot of times when I shoot it, I just shoot through the through the I don't even open them. I just shoot through the glass anyway. Only time they get dirty is when I'm opening them closed and putting my fingerprints on them. So we're gonna talk about that next. Well, I, we got got that down. That's from Amazon. I think that was like 80 bucks. We're gonna talk about this sling. The sling came from Amazon. And I actually had this on there because I do have a 22 long rifle. One of the first rifles I ever got. I got that when I was like, I think I damn near just turned 21 or something like that, 18, something like that, whatever the age is. That was one of the first rifles I got. Just a, a homeboy had one. I'm like, damn, this thing, shit, shoot kind of fun. And the bullets was cheap, so I ended up getting that one. I'll show y'all that if y'all want to see it, but I actually had this sling on there. Got this from Amazon. A lot of people been asking about this sling. And this one was, ooh, I think this one was like, that one was like, maybe like 15 bucks or something like that. That uh, sling right here. But I'm gonna post where I got that from too. I'm gonna post it all on there. Got this from Amazon. Y'all yeah, see it. Sling, been having it for years. Never broke. I mean, it do what it's supposed to do. Now we're gonna talk about this right here. So we are now allowed to use these. When I got this gun, I had to order it as a uh, a lower a lower AR pistol, so it did not come with a brace on there. It didn't come; it just came with the with the buffer tube, the pistol buffer tube. So I ended up instead of me having to spend all that extra money to get the brace, the one I the one I really wanted, I just ended up getting the brace right here that you tighten this down, and then tighten on to the buffer tube. You can adjust it, but you got to loosen that up to adjust it. So the buffer tube, the brace, I mean, I got this off Amazon. Now the brace is what y'all want, y'all want to know about this brace. This brace came, it was it's supposedly supposed to be used for um, an airsoft gun. But man, this plastic is so hard, man, this damn thing damn near heavier than a gun. So I said, I'm gonna give it a try, man. I seen some of the reviews on it. Some people said they used it for their ARs and and some of the people said it wasn't big enough. I did the measurements and it fit perfect. Fit perfectly on there. And I think I paid $19.99 for this. And I was actually about to order another one. And I seen this one, it was cheaper and the shit. It do what it's supposed to do. But yeah, man, this is the build. And I know for a fact I spent under, I know for a fact I spent under $800 for this whole gun. And they run good. I done oiled it down. I oiled this sucker down. It runs good. Only thing I did get that was a little better was a different uh, uh, bolt carrier group. I did get a better bolt carrier group than the uh, PSAs, but I'm going to change this charge handle too because this is a PSA charge handle. I'm going to change that out. But I'm going to show you all what it looked like with these mags in there. The mags is loaded. So I don't want to hear no bullshit. So first off, this is the 20 round mag with the green tips. 20 round mag. And that's what that look like with the 20 round mag. Backpack gun, truck gun, whatever y'all want to call it. This is what it look like with the 20 round mag. Then we got the uh, 30 round mag. And I got these mags, both of these from, I got three all together. I left the other one in the house. So I got all these mags from a pawn shop. Mags was like, I think I paid like $5 a piece for the mags, but yeah, this is the bill. This is definitely the bill. Y'all see it? But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. What y'all think I should do to it? Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Really, I'm going to keep it because I don't be giving a damn what y'all be talking about. Cheap or expensive. Long as the motherfucker run, long as it shoot, I'm going to keep it, man. For real. Because uh, I done already put five through it and I ain't had no problems. But I might. Eventually, I'm going to get a better one, though. This was just, you know, a test run basically for me. 
to see how I feel about an AR. But I'm, I'm loving the AR pistols. I'm loving the AR pistols for real. I'm a pocket rocket type of carrying person, so I like, you know, most of the time I like small guns, but I'm loving this AR pistol, man. It got the mag pull on there. It came with that. Definitely came with that. Y'all see it? Came with that. Tell me what y'all think, man. What else I should do to it? I think I done gave y'all everything I got on it. What else y'all think I should add on it? What else y'all think? Man, let me see. I can really show y'all how bright this light on, how the bright this light is. I turn that garage light off. I'm actually in my garage making a video, but this is it. This is the AR pistol. Trying to get them pictures for that thumbnail. Bam. Bam. Let me get it with that in there. Bam. Which one y'all like better? Y'all let me know. But I'm out, man. Magazine Magic checking out. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Hit that bell so y'all can get these new videos every time I drop them. Y'all know what I'm saying. Hey, man. Y'all know what it is. Magazine Magic checking out. Holla.